Larry Glazer, I mean, it's not the Ukraine. It wasn't the fiscal cliff. It wasn't Greece. At the end of the day, if you go back through this cycle, it was profits. And if you're up 150 percent in round numbers on the S&P and profits can account for 109 percent, that tells you something. And I think a lot of people lose track of that basic fundamental profit issue. Well, there clearly is a direct connection and there's an easy correlation. If you look at the chart of profits and you look at the chart of stock growth, it really is a great relationship. And it's very comforting when you look at that. What's not so comforting are the fact that even though we've had one of the weakest recoveries in modern history, we continue to adopt policies that will keep us in this stunted growth. I mean, look at the health care law. Again, keeps a lid on, on labor, keeps a lid on wages, keeps a lid on hiring and continues to stunt that further suppressing the middle class. Likewise, corporate tax reform, or the lack thereof, continues to keep capital overseas that should come back here and lead to investment, put the shovel in the ground, build the plant, all of which have been lacking. So it's not the Fed, because those are the Fedophobics. They say the Fed's going to solve all the problems. Right. And the Fed's, they're not. The problem and they're the not. Feds and, are the problem. and the evidence shows that. When you can, when you can say the profit's 109% of the 150% gain, it is not just the Fed. No, we can have a no, stronger absolutely. recovery. 